Hey everyone, this is Julian from the Binary Lab. So in this video, I'm going to be doing like your first lesson on how to visualize. Uh, I've mentioned in my previous uh, two or three videos ago, uh, where I was basically talking about my experience while being, you know, sick and ill, hospitalized and doing all kinds of visualization exercises. And I, I, I promised that I'll be giving you guys a step-by-step -step program uh, on how to develop your visualizing muscle. So today is going to be like the first lesson and uh, you know just for the convenience of it I'm going to be putting all this on my YouTube channel and then I'm going to compile it at some point. Um, so I hope to make one every few days so that you guys can you know try out these exercises. So the first thing is that um, I mean why do we want to visualize okay what's the what's the what's what's the importance of visualization. Well visualization is actually very important. Uh, it actually has been as a binary trader and forex trader uh, this has been you know the ingredient to my success the main ingredient to my success is my ab ability to be able to visualize uh, and and to simulate different scenarios in my brain all right so sometimes you know it could occur during the time that I'm taking a walk it could occur during the time that I am um, close to bedtime, early in the morning when I'm lying still in bed, if I, I don't really feel the climb out yet. And during these times, you know, inspiration hits me and I start thinking that, you know, what, what if I did it this way? What if I adjusted these settings in this way? Will that work? And most of the time, because the accuracy in my visualization is so, uh, is so high and vivid that, you know, when I try it in the actual simulation, or I try on the actual market conditions, it works exactly the way I wanted it to. So today I'm going to teach you how you can do that for yourself. And you know, if you are a trader, great. If you are, uh, um, you know, if if you are in any other, if you're doing any other trade, uh, even a relationship, uh, even if you're building houses, you are doing a regular job. This is going to help you in several ways because. You know, when you visualize, it's going to make you more aware, more self-aware, more externally aware. And also, it's going to help you to recognize patterns and how you can change them. Okay, so um, this lesson is going to be a little bit funny. If you are in the tendency of blaming people, I'm not trying to say that blaming is a good thing. But unfortunately, I also have that bad habit of blaming. Right? My wife uh, has been reminding me, reminding me of trying to become more accountable but to be honest with you, uh, I still have that negative trait, which is I like to blame. I like to often think about, you know, if that person had not been around at that time when I was doing this, I wouldn't have not put a cup of coffee. If my daughter was not uh, making noise at that point of time, I would have probably saw an opportunity to take this trait and hit, uh, click the button and basically made a lot of money by that. All right. So the fact that we can blame shows that we do have the ability to visualize. All right. So if you've never visualized before, most of you will have the trouble of seeing images. For instance, like when you develop this ability, all right, you will get to the point. Okay. And I am just about at that point where I literally can see doppelgangers, you know. For example, if I could point in a certain room, in, 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 in a, certain, a certain part of my room, and I could look over there and think that, you know, if I had parked my daughter's pram the other way after I pushed her from the walk, uh, she probably wouldn't have woken up and I probably would still be able to enjoy my afternoon nap right now. Okay, so I, I can literally visualize and simulate that happening with my eyes open just looking at that spot okay so I'm going to teach you how to do that I know there's a lot of explanation this is like the first video but um, now I want you to think of something that happened today it's very easy it is easy so the things that are most recent are the most easy for us to relate with as long as it is something that we had paid attention to because if we had not paid attention to something, then it's going to be very tough to recreate in our mind. So we think of something that is easy to recreate. It could be something from five minutes ago. It could be something from an hour ago. 
I want you to think of a 15 second sequence that happened five minutes ago. It could be when you're pouring coffee during a tea break. It could be five minutes ago, an hour ago, this morning when you're boarding the bus or the train to work. All right. It could be maybe in the morning you see every day there'll be certain people that cross your path every day, uh, certain people that you bump into, and you notice that there's one or two people that have this habit of wearing the same colored shirt every few days. Or perhaps, you know, um, every um, you know every few days this person will be using the, the, they would switch bicycles with their spouse getting out in the morning every few days maybe this certain bus driver that you see when you board a bus in the morning I want you to recreate a scenario so do that right now recreate any scenario a 15 second sequence in your mind you can close your eyes you can blindfold yourself but personally, I like to do it when in a bright setting. Because when in a bright setting, you know, when you close your eyes, you see pink and purple, right? And it actually makes it a lot easier. Did you know that there are actually, um, uh, what do you call that? Uh, creative, visualization, creative, visualization, creative visualization apparatus that you can wear, which basically is like a flashing, it's like a glasses with flashing LED lights that you can wear. It kind of stimulates your imagination. Why? Because it stimulates different images and colors. It fills up all the spots of that picture that you could be trying to visualize. It makes it see it so much easier. So for now, I, I like the fact that when I close my eyes, I see a, a mix of pink and purple and, and blacks and grays and whites. All right. uh, if it was total darkness like this, I only see black, which is a bit quite hard to visualize. So I, I like to do this in a bright setting. Do this in a bright setting. So recreate a, f a 15 to 30 second sequence, anything from five minutes ago, an hour ago this morning or anything it could be that, that you remember very very well now let's for the fun of it all right now that you got a sequence how about let's try to change a few things in that sequence and how would that affect so think of some variables that you can change let's say if you have two different paths to go to work you have the choice of either taking the, the you know uh, if there are two different bus stops that have Two different uh, uh, selections of buses offered. You know how would things be different? Let's try and simulate that in your head. And let's say if you have a few different pairs of shoes, most people do have a few different pairs of footwear. Uh, if this morning you had, you know, um, I, I I want you to imagine perhaps an uncomfortable pair of shoes that that you that you have and had you worn that let's say if today you had walked more than usual during the day because of meetings and whatnot or within the vicinity where it was too inconvenient for you to take a, a taxi or a bus or, or drive and you simply decided to walk if you had worn that very uncomfortable pair of shoes either the one that cuts your heel or the one that kind of makes you kind of like um, have you clench your toes as you walk how would it have changed how you feel right now how would you feel Maybe at this present moment, if you can visualize even what the thing I'm saying, right? You can visualize you know, the tension, the strain in your 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 lower calf, in your foot, in your your toe joints. Maybe you even feel a, a chill coming out of your sciatic nerve. Okay, think about something like that. Think of it something different. And and let's say you know if it was raining, what if it what if it was sunshine, or if it was sunshine, what if it was overcast how would that have changed things let's have a little bit fun of the brain visualize a 15 second sequence 30 second sequence and what if something had been changed in that period of time try and change one thing two things three things different things experiment with different variables and try to imagine that and if what you're imagining is occurring in your current works uh, your current setting maybe you're at home Maybe um, it could be something that, that you saw when you step out of the house. Go back out of the house. It can help you to get ideas. Because if, if you are short of detail, you can go and collect some detail. If you're in your workplace right now, open your eyes, look around. Get inspiration for the imagination. Collect it and do some simulations. How would this change? How would that change? And then before you know it, you'll start to be able to experiment different scenarios you know, with your eyes closed and your brain. Or 
you know, to a certain extent, you know, even with your eyes open, you can even like visualize things happening right before your eyes. This is lesson one. Try this out. Hope you like it. Bye for now.